What's going on guys, Tab Matt here again. Today we have a Apple bag, and that means it's the new unboxing. So I purchased the new iPad Air. Of course, it has been months since this thing has been launched, but I managed to get the iPad Air 11 inch and the Apple key Magic Keyboard and also the new Apple Pencil Pro. So today, let's go ahead and do a simple unboxing and review about this iPad. Anyways, let's get into it. So first of all, let's go ahead and unbox it. So there are some pull tabs on this. This is the 256 model in black, I think. Oh yes. Look at this beautiful guy. If I open it like this, I could keep the package intact. Ooh, this is nice. Such a light iPad. Okay, let's put it aside. So in the iPad box, we still got the charger and the cable, which is nice. You know, Apple is just taking away these type of items on the iPhones. Maybe in the future, the iPad doesn't also have this anymore. So it's quite good that they still have that. Okay, the iPad is here and the Apple Pencil Pro. Ta-da! So it has a very fancy box. Here's the pencil itself, Apple Pencil Pro. This one also could just came out like this packaging okay and the magic keyboard so i'm just gonna quickly unbox all this first so this pencil just sticks right here and um, oh there's a pull tab never thought of that look at that there's the pull tab here it is the keyboard magic keyboard it's quite heavy to be fair. So there are two colors, white and black. So since I got a darker version of the iPad, definitely a darker version of the keyboard is more reasonable. Ooh. It's actually not that black, it's kind of gray, to be fair. Okay, so put back the packaging and we're set for the startup. Here's the keyboard itself. I've never used one of these keyboards. Now this iPad is not for me, it's for my relative, my uncle. He bought a new iPad and I use the education discount. Ooh, there it is. Nice. Just matches the color completely good. Because this also works on the old iPad Pros, so that's why the cutout is for a bigger camera lens. Just loves that a lot. Yeah, just looks very good. This is my iPad, so simply just a design difference. Mine is a separate keyboard and a separate um, backing. So you could just pull this out and use the kickstand on my old iPad 10. Not quite old, but you know, it has been a while since the iPad 10 is released. I've also purchased the new Type-C pencil earlier so now it sticks on the side but you need to charge it with the USB-C but anyways this one just charges directly from the iPad it's got those antenna right here those connectives here for charging it's quite thin so thinner than my iPad 10th generation quite a difference there you could see iPad is thinner and the keyboard slightly thinner, so it adds on the whole thing is thinner. And the pencil wise, mine pencil is shorter, a bit just a slightly shorter design. But let's go ahead and part it on. Screen size wise, this is 11 inches, while mine is stated to be 10.9. So let's wait for it to start up and let's do the review. So besides from the keyboard and stuff, I don't think there is too much of a difference between these two iPads, but I gotta check. So let's get them out of their shape in the keyboard. 
So, on the left, we have the iPad 10th generation, and on the right, the iPad Air. So, physically speaking, let's turn off the dark mode because that affects the comparison. I mean, the iPad Air looks slightly better because this is liquid AMOLED, I think, or some, you know, Apple term, liquid retina. But this is pure LCD, I think, so. Colors looks greater on this one. And um, it's more rich, more bright, and also the reflection, you could see, maybe this is less reflective than uh, the iPad 10th generation. Size-wise, the iPad 10th generation is marked as 10.9 inches. This is 11 inch, but physically speaking, the bezels kind of look the same. I think it's not significantly thinner. And from my point of view, I don't know why, but the 10th generation seems to have a slightly thinner bezel. If I'm wrong, I don't know why. But, um... You could see the placement of the buttons are literally the same. Let's see, it's literally the same. The colors are different. It's the silver, because this is the only color that looks, you know, reasonable. And of course, the three dots at the bottom different. This one doesn't have that. This one, the antenna is here to connect the keyboard. And also this side. This has the placement for the Apple Pencil charging. This one has none because the pencil doesn't charge. And uh, yeah, the iPad Air is thinner. Besides from that, I don't think there's so much difference. Oh, camera placement. Interestingly, 10th generation is quite at the center, but the iPad Air's camera is kind of slightly off to the left side, but still it has center stage. So when you take photos, it will still track your face. So that's nice. And um, of course I've, got the coding here this is the brand new iPad and um, you know I don't think there's much difference between these two honestly if you're talking about the specs of course this is using the a14 chip which is quite an old chip it doesn't run that fast anymore literally simple driving games will still get some sort of lag on this device this is not built for gaming this is just for learning purposes, you know, daily documenting, uh, you know, using the word, um, scrolling, you know, browsing the YouTube, browsing Netflix, listening to some music that works on this guy. This, on the other hand, really, I think the iPad Air, at this price, it has M2 chip, so it's a very budget iPad with very good specs. So definitely this one is better, but I've got limit budget, so I'm gonna stick with this iPad 10 as long as I'm just using it for education purposes, mostly. So, I mean, that's a very simple unboxing. So I think this is a better choice than this one. Anyways, let's leave this video like this. So I'm gonna give it back to him. This is his iPad. I just brought it for an unbox video. Anyways, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for videos. Make sure you subscribe and like my videos. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Peace out.